Queen Elizabeth II was laid to rest with her husband, Prince Philip, as well as her parents and sister. Since then, we've learned about the significance of the symbol on her grave, as well as whether the public is permitted to visit St. George's Chapel, where Her Majesty and her family are buried. Please subscribe for more updates. A new ledger stone was also made for the burial, replacing a black slab naming George VI and Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. George VI 1895-1952 and Elizabeth 1900 to 2002 are inscribed on the stone, followed by Elizabeth II 1926 to 2022, and Philip 1921 to 2021. Princess Margaret's name is noticeably absent from the names inscribed on the new gravestone, prompting many royal fans to wonder why, given that she, too, was laid to rest with the family at St. George's Chapel. Princess Margaret, unlike the rest of her family, was cremated rather than buried, as is customary, because there was no room left in the chapel, the only remaining space had been reserved for Her Majesty. Margaret could have been buried in Frogmore in Windsor Great Park, where Queen Victoria and Prince Albert are also buried, but a friend described this as very gloomy. As a result, Margaret, who desired to spend eternity with her family, chose to be cremated and have her ashes interred in the chapel. So, why isn't her name on the newly laid gravestone's inscription? Although there is no official word on why Margaret's name is not on the gravestone, or whether her ashes are with the family's coffins or interred in the nearby wall, it could be because she was not a member of the Order of the Garter, unlike the four family members whose names are inscribed on the slab, which also features the metal garter star. Another possibility is that the gravestone is only for monarchs and their respective partners. Nonetheless, Princess Margaret has a memorial stone within the chapel that reads, along with her name and the dates of her birth and death. We thank you, Lord, for restoring our faith through thy spirit. When we commune with worldly things and close our door without prayer, we lose our precious divine gift to worship and adore. Then, O Saviour, fill our hearts with love for thee forever.